Hey guys, time for a little update video. Um, one of them is, as you may have noticed, I'm recording this Tuesday, the day that you obviously didn't get a new episode of uh, the Zelda Randomizer that I started uh, yesterday. Um, I plan, I only made six of the episodes. They get progressively longer as it goes on because they're just basically my play sessions. Um, so it's in, in, in a vein of me basically streaming it. Uh, as, as we go forward a little bit more, I do slightly more editing and that kind of thing. But uh, for the most part, it was unplanned. Uh, I didn't uh, do any research prior to, which is why the first run failed. Um, do note that I do have the files from the first couple of failed attempts and if you want me to continue those runs I can I still have the uh, save states from wherever we got to uh, this is from the I believe the first one because I don't think I ever made it into this cave um, but the idea that I would like to uh, get across is um, when I finished off I, yeah. Uh, when I finished off the, um, the rest of, really? Die! Still can't play this game. Um, when I finished off the LP, I ended up using a different file because I couldn't find where a lot of things were. I did look up where some things were just to streamline events uh, a little bit later on, but I do fail a couple of times ahead of time. As you can see, we got some valuable things here and we probably could have continued uh, things on. I'm just not aware of, or at least at the time, I wasn't aware of where a number of these areas are. Um, so, when we continue on with the videos, we'll end up uh, moving on with a separate uh, randomizer file. So things will all be different. You'll see all that content anyway. But if people are interested, um, I do have all the old files so we can go back and I can make videos for them after if people are interested. So I figured I'd pose that to you guys now. Um, yeah, that's uh, basically all I want to talk about when it comes to Zelda. Uh, because there's only six episodes, I'll be posting them every second day um, until I believe next Thursday, if I remember correctly. And I'm expecting probably a week off after that because the next piece of information, the graphics card, it's here. Which means I can finish my Grandia 3 test run. And I think I have like three dungeons left, one town, not that much. So I'm gonna work on that over the next uh, week and a bit here. I just, I've been trying to work on it for three days here and I've had absolutely no time. My, uh, my schedule's getting away from me. So uh, it's, it hasn't taken a back seat. It's been my focus. I just haven't had the time to actually work on it. So uh, yeah. So I will be working on that and we'll be getting on with that. That does lead me to one other thing. Well, one of the things I was working on. Um, so yeah, this, this is something that I was playing around with when I had no graphics card. This is not your vanilla Final Fantasy VII, as you can probably tell. This is Final Fantasy VII on Steam, plus mods. Now, Final Fantasy VII, Final Fantasy VIII, and Final Fantasy IX have all been purchased by me on Steam, and I have found useful mods for all of them. Now, Final Fantasy VII and Final Fantasy IX are both games I've already LP'd on the channel, but they were both done with my very first microphone, and the quality is not so great. So eventually I will want to redo those LPs. Now, what I'm asking here is when I eventually do that, and it won't be anytime soon, do you want me to use many of these mods? Now, obviously I'm gonna have to figure out why the hell it keeps slowing down and why I've had to record the start of this like six times. Um, but uh, yeah, it, uh, I have no idea why it does this. I have to find some way of fixing this later. I don't have time right now, uh, but uh, yeah. So what uh, we've got here with uh, Final Fantasy VII is we've got a lot of graphical overhauls to the sprites, uh, both in battle, outside of battle, in the field, um, some minor adjustments to the uh, to what we get in uh, cutscenes, I don't think there's. Oops, I nicked the mic there. Um, I don't think we get a lot 
but uh, the audio has been updated, the sound effects have been updated, as you can hear, I'm gonna have to cut the audio way down because it's super, super loud. I have to take my headphones off just so that I can focus on what I'm saying and hear myself speak. And I have open back headphones, so I should be able to hear them even when I <laughs> have them in, but uh, anyway. But yeah, so that's what we have for Final Fantasy VII. Let me know when I eventually redo the Final Fantasy VII LP. Do you want me to use a whole whack ton of mods and make the game look uh, a little more updated? Or do you want me to go the classic route and just do the traditional game? Um, if I end up doing the Steam version, I will still be using the, uh, the audio mod for higher quality audio, but uh, other than that, I would cut out the rest of them. I just, I want to make sure I get the, the good audio in there if possible. Um, uh, the one other thing about uh, this particular, the mods that I have running right now, is there's actually a retranslation mod. Um, which one is that one? I don't remember. Um, no, Beyond, Beyond Reunion, I think it's called. And it, uh, it's not like a changes a whole lot, but it, what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to be a little more accurate and explain things a little better without going too far. At least that's what I've heard. As you can see from the location of this little demo, I'm not very far into it at this point and I'm putting it down to work on Grandia 3. So, like I said, if you want me to work on uh, this one, uh, eventually, not, not anytime soon, but if you want me to work on this one, let me know. And if you want me to work on the classic PS1 version, let me know that one as well. Next, we have well, logically enough, the next game in the franchise. And I apologize if I seem disorganized in my thoughts right now. I've had to re-record re this because I did it all on full screen and it didn't work. It showed no video. As you can hear from that audio, it sounds good. It sounds like the game originally did on the original uh, PS1 release. When I launched Final Fantasy VIII for Steam the first time, it sounded like absolute ass because they put MIDIs in instead of MP3s or Wave or Org Vorbis or Lossless, whatever codec they use. They used MIDIs to save file space on a Steam release. I believe this is because the game was actually ported from the original PS, uh, PlayStation, or not PlayStation, the original PC port of the game from the PlayStation that came back out in like 98. And that one, for some reason, had MIDI files in it. But it sounded like absolute crap. And I had the game on for about 10 seconds and I turned it off. Uh, and then I went to look for mods. That's how this whole thing started with me and mods in 7 and 8. And as you'll see in a moment, 9. Um, yeah, the uh, for some reason, it uh, they decided they were just going to port uh, that one over. So, yeah, it sounded like absolute crap so i went and i found some mods specifically for the audio but uh, as you can see there's been some slight modification when it comes to the uh, graphical quality as well uh, nothing horrible as far as gameplay breaking bugs there's like a high speed mode or something like that but uh, nothing too bad um, again, let me know, uh, I think some of the other things that got updated were like, uh, you know, our battle sprites, our field sprites, uh, I think Aeon's got a little bit of an upgrade, uh, stuff like that. I, I think it's mostly just graphical stuff, maybe a different font or something like that, because I think the port's just not all that great until you apply mods to it. At least that's what I've read. As you can tell by how far I am in this file, I'm not very far here either. But uh, again, let me know, do you want me to, eventually I will be doing this game. This one is sooner rather than later at this point. Um, I, it's not gonna be the next LP after uh, Grandia, at least that's not likely, but uh, I would expect it in the next three or four LPs that I do, I'm probably gonna get around to this. It's been so close on my list for so long. I think it's finally time to, uh, to unlock it, but let me know, do you want me to play the classic on PS1 or do you want me to play the modded version like we have here? Um, anyway, that leaves us with only one left. Leading me to the one remaining game that I mentioned earlier.
Silicone Studio Thailand. Yeah, Square decided they weren't going to work on their own uh, their own remakes of their games. Uh, I think most of these are uh, ports. Can I skip? Yeah, there we go. Let's skip the opening cutscene here. Now, for Final Fantasy IX, there's not much when it comes to the additions. I don't think they've changed the textures or the audio all that much. Um, let's go over those real quick. But what they have done is they've added a couple of uh, gameplay features that I do want to go over. They've reduced the random factor in the stupid card game, which makes me extremely happy. I, I hope they've someone has made a nice uh, a nice mod for the steal rate and just increased it by like a thousand percent because it's ridiculously low in this game. Um, I will be eventually remaking this LP as well, so would you want me to use the Steam version uh, with some minor mods? Um, so there's that. Uh, let's see, we got some faster battles, and we have widescreen support. Um, it's somewhat widescreen on my 16x10 monitor, but whatever. Anyway, um, you can change the rate of the speed boost, but as you can see, this is the kind of speed boost you're looking at around here. Now, I haven't changed the battle speed at all. It's still super low, but the actions are faster. The text goes up faster. Uh, you can make some modifications to change your summons so that they uh, show up faster as well. And all of this is uh, easily editable in a little text file that comes with the, uh, the mods that come with the... Uh, with the Memoria patch, which is what this is. Uh, the one for Final Fantasy VIII was called Lunatic Pandora. It's a big, massive uh, collection of a whole whack ton of different mods. And then with Final Fantasy VII, it's called Final Haven, because why not? Would you guys steal? See, this, this is my biggest problem with this game. Out of all the, like this game doesn't have a lot of issues, but this is the game's biggest issue, is the frickin' steal rate. Are you kidding me? How many times will I have to steal from this guy? But yeah, in the original game, these battles take forever because stealing takes forever unless you're, you know, playing on an emulator, in which case you're just pulling down fast forward the whole time. But yeah, this, in any normal game, stealing should take, you know, three, maybe four attempts, tops, not 10, 12, 15. Would you hurry up and steal the stupid thing so I can kill this guy? Of course, Cinna's gonna die because Cinna always dies. There we go. Let's kill him. But uh, yeah, so they've made some simple modifications like that. Uh, you can change the amount of fast forward you get in the battles, I think, uh, based on what I've looked at. Uh, they've also changed some font issues. They've added uh, some boosters to kind of help you win a lot of the mini games. Oh, really? That's what potions are for. You don't say! But yeah, uh, again, let me know. Do you want me to play the modded version, which is negligibly mod? Like, I'm not going to use any of the ones that help out with the, the gameplay with the mini games, like the hippo racing and the, uh, the jump rope and the frog catching. I'll do all that normally, you know, how I would normally do it. I'm not going to cheese through it. I'm just going to use, you know, the speed sped up battle thing to, to make my life a little bit easier. And if there's like a way I can modify that in, in game, then that'll be even better. I'll be able to, you know, turn it on or off at will and that will make things even better. But uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much all I wanted to ask. Um, do you guys want me to use mods or no mods? Uh, let me know in comments and yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Okay, so we fixed up that, we made that video. So I did that, I did that. All right. So, now that we talked about Final Fantasy IX, we talked about mods, 7, 8, talked about the different runs, and we talked about videos the other day for uh, Zelda there. So, now, what have we here? Uh-oh. Please, no. 
No. Not again. I can't do this again. I've already played this game twice. Mainly because I didn't get 100% the first time, of course, but who did? I've made a horrible mistake. <laughs> 